In The Code of Life, Dr. Purdom dissects the evidence found in DNA for clues to its origin and finds that the processes touted by evolutionists are greatly embellished. The origin of such diversity and variability could only be the God of the Bible. We have information in the DNA to make about 100 to 300,000 proteins okay, and to regulate their production. How, when, where, how much, under what conditions, all of those things. And it's just mind-boggling to me. And if, just to kind of give you a sense of this, if we were to take a pinhead and put DNA on that pinhead, it's about two millimeters in diameter, the amount of information that could be stored in that DNA on that pinhead would also be stored in the amount of books from the Earth to the Moon times 500, or CDs stacked 1,600 kilometers high, or a 40 gigabyte hard drive times 100 million. That's contained in the nucleus of each cell in your body. I mean, that's just, again, that just, you just can't imagine how much is there. Now, here's the thing. The logical conclusion then would be, I mean, if this is, if this is the case, that the more complex an organism is, the more information that's going to be needed. And this kind of goes along with the, one of the mantras of evolution, so to speak, that a genetic information increase is required for molecules to man evolution. If you are going to go, you've got to have information. You know, if you're going to go from a bacteria to a human being, you've got to have information on how to make a brain, how to make eyeballs, how to make a leg. Okay? This should make sense to us. Because obviously bacteria, even though they're complex in their own right, and I'm not trying to slice that, humans are much more complex. And so you're gonna, you can't just tweak what's there and get a human being. Okay? You gotta add information. Now, so if that's really the case, then what should be true? Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at genomes. And we're we'll look at this in a couple different ways here. Genomes are the entire genetic information in an organism, okay, basically all the DNA. So if, if what you would expect then, if you need to add information to go from a bacteria to human, is that the genome, okay, all the genetic information there, would be larger. You'd have more of it. And you'd have more genes as you sort of go up the evolutionary ladder or the tree from very simple to complex, from bacteria to human beings. Now, so if that's true, let's take a look at it. We should be able to look at the DNA. We, we know how much DNA is in a lot of organisms now. We've sequenced a lot of these. So let's look and see if that's, if that's actually borne out. Let's look at the sizes first. Okay, Mycoplasma genitalium is a bacteria that has one of the smallest known genomes at 580,000 bases. We then go to Helicobacter pylori, which is the bacteria responsible for causing ulcers. We'll talk about that one a little bit later. 1.7 million. Okay, we go to the fly, the common fruit fly, about 122 million. Okay, so we're going up, definitely here. Rice, okay, I kind of throw this one in, it's a plant, 390 million. All right, so we're getting a little more complex there. Now, human, 3.3 billion. So now we've jumped from millions to billions. Wow, well, so far so good. I mean, we're, as we're going from simple, so to speak, to complex here, we're getting more genetic information. Looks good. Oh, well, here's the problem. Frogs, amphibians, actually have about 10 hundred billion bases. Okay, now, some people might, you know, and I would definitely say we're more complex than frogs. Now, some people might have issues with that. They might say, well, how, you know, complexity is really kind of a relative term, and, and how do you really know that, you know, we're more complex than frogs? Well, I'm going to kind of paraphrase a quote from Lee Spetner in his book, Not By Chance, and say that, when frogs start classifying themselves and everything else, they can put themselves at the top of the ladder. But until then, it's us, okay? So, this is a problem, okay? Amphibians have way more DNA than we do, okay? So it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. 